I'm in trouble. <laughs> I got melted in there. I got one down. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys my 7 tips on how to get more kills. You know, I get asked all the time on my videos how I'm able to get some high kill games. So that's why I just wanted to quickly make this video, provide you guys with my best tips, and hopefully help you guys improve your overall gameplay here in Apex Legends. So if you enjoy, please don't forget to hit that like button for me. It would mean so freaking much. And if you're new here on my channel, consider subscribing because I upload daily Apex Legends content but before I get started with my seven tips I just want to let you guys know that some people are just naturally good and you know talented at shooting games I'm not saying I'm the greatest of all time but I would like to consider myself a more than average player you know I've been playing Call of Duty my whole life getting 100 plus kills in team deathmatch and pulling off some insane clutch plays in search and destroy and now I'm on here in Apex Legends getting 20 bombs and doing nothing but squad wiping so at the end of the day it all comes down to practice 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 but anyways the first tip that I got for you guys is to use a combo that you're most comfortable with for me it's the R301 and R99 because I'm just able to beam my opponents from a distance with the R3 and then just completely melt the rest with my R99 up close. Uh, if you know you're not the greatest sniper but you're using a G7 scout, do not expect a lot of kills at the end of the game. You need to really think of which guns fit your play style so that when you're in the middle of a gunfight you have full confidence. You also need to really understand how each gun works and what type of damage they're able to deal on your opponent. So, you know, get used to the recoil pattern for each gun in the game and learn how to control it as best as you can because each gun here in Apex Legends is unique and different in its own way. The second tip that I got for you guys is to finish off the opposing player that you knocked. This is super important for three reasons. One, you'll actually get the kill. Two, it's going to make life much easier because it's one less person to worry about and their team won't be able to revive them. And three, you can quickly steal the shield from their death box if they have the same or better. It just saves so much time instead of having to take shield cells or batteries and it's definitely going to make all the difference when trying to speed things up and go for some high kill games. But this definitely does not mean to go for the finish while in the middle of an insane battle between your squad and theirs or just between like five different squads. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. So if you're hurt and you know that their team is around, get out of there and heal as fast as you can. That way you're able to jump back in and finish off the rest. I would say the best time to finish a player that's knocked is when it's basically a 1v1 situation and their team is nowhere to be found. Or like I said, when you need to quickly swap your shield with theirs. This tip definitely requires smart and fast thinking, you know, depending on the situation, of course. Which brings me to my third tip, and it's to know the situation. Now, what I mean by this is to be aware of the environment around you. Uh, just make sure you know how many squads are in the area and who is dead or alive on your squad or the enemies. The whole point is to get more kills, right? That is why you have to take advantage of the cover around you and make sure you have the upper hand at all times, uh, especially doors. I can't tell you how many times I've survived because of them. Uh, the way you can run away and take a shield battery while blocking the door is extremely, extremely helpful when it comes to sticky and just horrible situations. And that's exactly what I mean by being aware of what's around you. Uh, I also said to make sure you know how many squads are in the area because you have to decide to whether push up or push back. I, under I understand it's all about the kills, but none of it is going to matter if you and your squad are dead and don't get the win. But to be honest, you should always act as if there is another squad around because of how insane third partying is in Apex Legends. Um, so you always have to be ready and just keep your head up. The fourth tip that I got for you guys is to always think before you do something and avoid silly mistakes. Literally all it takes is one dumb mess up to completely throw the game away and that's not what you want at all. There has been so many times where I've had 16 to 18 kills and choked the 20 bomb because I decided to make a silly mistake and uh, just give up high ground. 
but that's why it's extremely important to learn from your mistakes so that it doesn't happen again and that's exactly what I do you know I observe and learn from a silly mistake so if you're playing amazing the entire game please please don't throw it away by looting a death box for three minutes in the middle of a field and getting killed for it you know so many different things can happen in apex legends so try not to get fired up and just relax so you don't throw your whole game off and play horrible the rest of the day the fifth tip on how to get more kills is confidence i know i've mentioned this one before and i'm sorry but this is probably the most important tip of all time someone recently commented on my how to get 20 kills video saying confidence is something that they lack and they definitely need to fix and that comment was just super nice to see because someone actually understands how important this tip is you need to believe in yourself no matter what the situation is because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you're not going to win every single gunfight, but I promise you'll come out alive much more if you go in there with full confidence. It is extremely important to trust your aim and uh, have faith in your skills. Once you're hitting your shots and feel just super comfortable, you'll go on a tear and just destroy everyone in your way. And I 100% promise you that. The sixth tip is to land either on the hot zone or popular drops like Skull Town, Containment, which used to be Cascades, or even Air Base. Confidence carries over to this tip as well because you cannot be afraid to drop with other players. You know, what's the worst that's going to happen? You die, go to the lobby, and start again? It, it only takes one time to get that juicy high kill game that you've been working so hard for. So like I said before a billion times, it just takes time and practice and effort, confidence. You need to drop on these uh, popular areas in the map so that you're able to start the game strong and you know have a decent amount of kills. And the final tip that I got for you guys is do not overthink things. You need to know when it's best to fight or dip and heal, but you need to choose one and just stick with it. Uh, evaluating the situation and making a quick decision is extremely important for trying to stay alive and get a high kill game. Uh, I've said it so many times before, every second in Apex Legends is crucial. So if you're super hurt and trying to get away from the fight to quickly recover, don't take more than a second to decide on whether going left or right chances are the enemy is uh, going to be chasing you down and not stop until they knock you and finish you off completely so confidence carries over to this tip as well you know be confident think of a plan and just stick with it but that's all i got for you guys good luck to all of you trying to get these high kill games i really really hope my tips were able to help you out if they did go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know how it goes like i said before drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new here on my channel also let me know what you guys want to see next because i love love helping you guys out uh do you guys want to know how to aim better and hit more shots do you guys want to know how to squad wipe let me know down in the comments and that's about it you know thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace